to me. Um, I'm going to need everyone seating because you're going to need to be comfortable with this. It's not take a while. <laughs> so you can sit, be comfortable. <laughs> One up in top seven. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For those who do not know me, my name is Jonathan Schwartz, not related. And I'll be giving the best man's speech this evening. It's an honor to celebrate this very special day with Chad and Amy. And before I begin, let me just say that the formative years I spent in the company of the groom means that he had much a part in developing my sense of humor as anyone. So, Although I've tried to make the speech funny, um, if it is not, please blame Jared. <laughs> First off, uh, I'd like to congratulate Jared and Amy on their marriage and the beautiful ceremony that took place just a little while ago. Uh, I'd also like to congratulate you both on somehow convincing all these hardworking people to um, get off of work early on Friday before a three-day weekend, which is always a great time to be driving east on the Long Island Express. <laughs> I'm extremely honored to have the privilege and sacred responsibility of being the best man at Jagger and Amy's wedding. When first attempting to tackle the task or preparing the speech, I knew it had to be something genuine and straight from the heart. So I did what any other man would do. I went online. <laughs> and again, um, like any man surfing the web, I became easily distracted and <laughs> accidentally stumbled upon some more appealing sites, totally forgetting why I went online in the first place. <laughs> I'm sure that Chad thinks I've been up all night, worried sick and nervous about speaking in front of such a big crowd. However, being an elementary school teacher, I've learned great ways to handle being nervous when teaching an important lesson or just speaking in front of a large group. And I think if I use the same relaxation tactics here tonight, I should be just fine. So if you just give me one second. But <laughs> 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 enough of that, let's get right to the groom. <laughs> the website, bestmanspeeches.com, says <laughs> avoid telling too many jokes. <laughs> Although when you think something is funny, chances are there will be dozens of people that did not think it was as amusing. I think it's safe to say we're already way past that point, and there's really no turning back now. So I'm going to start the next instruction, which is to tell everyone how long I've known the groom for and some of the good and bad times we've had for the years. So I've known Jared for about 20 years now, and we've shared so many important life-changing and meaningful experiences together. I will not be talking about any of these. <laughs> uh, Jared has been an important part in my life ever since 1987, when he told our kindergarten teacher that we were brothers. <laughs> our parents have also been good friends, and in fact our siblings, Brian and Jessica, once dated for five whole days. <laughs> By the way, that relationship ended on a sour note, and Jessica slapped Brian across the face for some undisclosed reason. <laughs> a memory that I specifically recall is visiting Jared's family during their famous Christmas Eve parties. Uh, it was during occasions like these that some of my most fondest and life-changing events took place. For example, as Jared now knows, my first kiss took place when I was 14 years old with a member of Jared's family. <laughs> Yeah, as I awkwardly approached Jared's grandma Ida, <laughs> we, we both moved in for a normal hello kiss and wound up getting my first ever kiss on the restaurant. A girl on social security. So for that, I thank Jared for being so understanding and also grandma Ida for being so gentle. <laughs> What I'd like to do now is just read a few excerpts from an old article I had to stumble upon while cleaning out some old school things, entitled, Jared Schwartz, Self-Proclaimed Ladies' Man. 
Jared Schwartz, a senior, is a self-described ladies' man. <laughs> With a confident stride and an easygoing manner, Schwartz comes off as the kind of person who doesn't let himself take anything too seriously. Schwartz especially enjoys school for two reasons. Kevin Scanlon's Holocaust class and, quote, looking at all the hot girls in school. <laughs> he enjoys listening to bands such as Rage Against the Machine, Limp Bizkit, and Blink-182. His favorite lunch spots include Wendy's, McDonald's, and Marte's Deli. His favorite drink is Red Powerade. <laughs> he eats his cookies in multiples of three. <laughs> he also prefers dressing in khakis and sweaters more than anything else. As for his last semester of senior year, Schwartz states, I'll have three periods free. I want to go out and eat and not work because I'm lazy. <laughs> So maybe, aside from Jared being the subject of a great human interest piece, you can see from an early age the kind of hard-working husband and provider for your children that you have to look forward to. But as all his friends know, Jared is more than just your average student through high school. He was always a little too concerned with his appearance, always taunting me with his hundred pairs of jeans and sweater vests he so proudly owned. It was many a time during our high school math class that our teacher, Mr. Tatone, would walk into the class just as the bell rang, surprised to see most of the class sitting patiently, yet only to find Jared standing up in front of the closet mirror, checking his hair arrangement, new acne sightings, or straightening the long, thick black unibrow that's being the class. at the White Castle in Center Reach. <laughs> Obviously, Amy was very impressed with our choice of fine dining, <laughs> since she has never returned to White Castle ever. <laughs> On behalf of Jared's other friends, I would like to describe to Amy just what kind of a man she has agreed to spend the rest of her life with. In my eyes, two important qualities that I'm sure Amy was looking for was someone who was intelligent and a compassionate friend. I can think of two perfectly good examples that exemplify these qualities that Jared does indeed possess. I remember a crisp fall evening when Jared became bored and came up with a bright idea to sneak up to our friend Teresa's house at night and quietly cover her entire car in tea bags as a practical joke, only to wake up and discover that the, it had rained later at night and the tea bags had made long round streaks across Teresa's plain white car. You know what, Amy, it doesn't even matter, um, because Jared's a very compassionate friend. There was one time after a long night out with his buddies that one of his friends became rather ill and didn't want to go back to his own house and wake up his parents who would probably be upset. After deciding that he didn't want his friend puking in his house, he convinced us to roll this poor friend up onto the trampoline in Jared's backyard. <laughs> he quickly fell asleep as the sprinkler sprayed water on him. <laughs> Though there is really no need to name names, you should all know that this friend turned out to be just fine and is in fact the responsible manager of the Holiday Inn that many of you will be staying at this evening. <laughs> make you all feel very safe and secure. <laughs> At this time, I'd, I'd like Jared to take Amy's hand and place her hand over hers. Now remember this moment and cherish it because this will be the last time you ever have the upper hand. <laughs> But all jokes aside, I want to conclude by saying that I couldn't be any happier for you both than I am today. And I just want to express how great it is that Jared has found someone that can make him as happy and complete as Amy does. Um, Jared, you've been a best friend and a brother to me for so long now. And I couldn't imagine myself, your parents, and all of your other family and friends being more proud of you than we are today. Also, I'd like to officially welcome you to the Schwartz family. <laughs> and uh, I love you both very much and couldn't imagine my life without the two of you. So if you can all now rise and raise your glasses.